The gray wolf, Canis lupus, is one of the most widely recognized and studied species of wild canids. It is a highly adaptable and social carnivore that plays a crucial role in ecosystems. Range and Habitat Grey wolves have a wide range and are found in various ecosystems across North America, Eurasia and parts of the Middle East. They inhabit diverse habitats including forests, grasslands, tundras and deserts. Pack Structure Grey wolves are known for their complex social structures. They typically live and hunt in family groups called packs. Packs consist of an alpha pair, the dominant breeding pair, their offspring of various ages, and sometimes unrelated individuals. Size and appearance. Adult gray wolves vary in size, with males typically larger than females. They have a thick grayish-brown fur coat with a mix of black, white, and gray. Their appearance can vary depending on the region and subspecies. Communication. Wolves use a variety of vocalizations, including howls, growls, and barks, to communicate with pack members. Howling is particularly important for long-distance communication and maintaining pack cohesion. Diet. Wolves are carnivorous predators and primarily feed on large ungulates like deer, elk, moose, and bison. They are also opportunistic and may eat smaller mammals, birds, and carrion when available. Territory and hunting. Packs have territories that they defend against other wolf packs. They use coordinated hunting strategies to bring down prey, often targeting weak or sick individuals. Reproduction. Grey wolves typically breed once a year in late winter or early spring. The gestation period is about 63 days and litters usually consist of four to six pups. The entire pack helps raise and care for the young. Conservation status. Grey wolves have faced extensive persecution in the past and were extirpated from many areas of their historic range. Conservation efforts, including reintroduction programs, have helped some populations recover. They are listed as endangered or threatened in some regions. Keystone species. Wolves are considered a keystone species because their presence has a profound impact on the ecosystems they inhabit. They help regulate prey populations, which can have cascading effects on vegetation and other wildlife. Myths and legends. Wolves have been the subject of numerous myths, legends, and folklore in various cultures throughout history. They are often portrayed as both symbols of danger and cunning intelligence. Threats. Grey wolves face threats such as habitat loss, conflicts with humans over livestock depredation and hunting. Controversies surround their management and protection in some areas. Hybridization. In some regions, Grey wolves have interbred with coyotes, producing hybrid animals known as koi wolves or eastern wolves. These hybrids can exhibit a mix of physical and behavioral traits from both species. Grey wolves are important not only for their ecological roles, but also for the cultural and symbolic significance they hold in various societies. Efforts to conserve and manage wolf populations aim to strike a balance between the needs of these animals and those of human communities. The red wolf, Canis rufus, is a critically endangered species of canid native to the southeastern United States. It is one of the world's most endangered canid species and has faced significant threats to its survival. Description Red wolves are medium-sized canids with a reddish-brown coat, often with black markings on their ears, face, and along their backs. They have long legs and a bushy tail. Habitat Historically, red wolves inhabited a variety of ecosystems in the southeastern United States, including forests, swamps, and coastal marshes. Range Once ranging throughout the southeastern U.S., red wolves now have a limited distribution. They are primarily found in a few counties in North Carolina. Endangered status Red wolves are considered critically endangered, and they are one of the rarest mammals in North America. Their population was severely reduced due to habitat loss and predator control programs. Conservation efforts. In the 1980s, red wolves were declared extinct in the wild, but a captive breeding program was initiated to save the species. Subsequently, a reintroduction effort was launched, and red wolves have been released into protected areas in North Carolina. Hybridization. One of the primary threats to red wolves is hybridization with coyotes. 
Hybridization occurs when red wolves mate with coyotes, resulting in animals with a mix of genetic traits. This has complicated efforts to conserve the pure red wolf. Diet red wolves are carnivores and primarily prey on small to medium-sized mammals like rabbits, rodents and deer. They are skilled hunters and also scavengers. Social structure Red wolves are known to live in family groups or packs, consisting of an alpha pair, the dominant breeding pair, and their offspring. Pack members work together in hunting and raising their young. Communication Red wolves use vocalizations like howling, barking and growling to communicate with pack members. Howling is particularly important for maintaining pack cohesion and territorial boundaries. Reproduction Red wolves typically breed once a year in late winter or early spring. The gestation period is about 63 days and litters usually consist of three to six pups. Reintroduction Challenges The reintroduction of red wolves faces various challenges, including habitat loss, human-wildlife conflicts, and ongoing hybridization with coyotes. Conservationists continue to work on strategies to ensure the species' survival. Legal protections Red wolves are legally protected in the United States under the Endangered Species Act, making it illegal to harm or harass them. Protected areas have been established to support their recovery. Education and research Efforts to educate the public and conduct research on red wolves are essential components of conservation programs. Increasing awareness and understanding of this species is crucial for its survival. The Red Wolf's journey from near extinction to ongoing recovery efforts highlights the importance of conservation and the challenges involved in protecting and preserving endangered species in the modern world. Conservationists and researchers continue to work tirelessly to ensure the Red Wolf's survival in its native habitat. Appearance. Arctic wolves have a thick, pure white fur coat, which helps them blend into their snowy surroundings. This adaptation provides excellent insulation and protection against the cold Arctic temperatures. Size. They are typically smaller than their southern grey wolf relatives. Adult Arctic wolves usually weigh between 75 to 125 pounds, 34 to 57 kilograms, and have a body length of 3.3 to 4.9 feet, 1 to 1.5 meters. Habitat. Arctic wolves are found throughout the Arctic region, including parts of Alaska, Canada, Greenland, Scandinavia, and Russia. They inhabit tundras, Arctic coastal areas, and pack ice regions. Pack behavior. Like other grey wolves, Arctic wolves are highly social animals that live in family groups called packs. A typical pack consists of an alpha male and female, their offspring of various ages, and sometimes other non-breeding adults. Diet. The primary diet of Arctic wolves consists of Arctic hare, muskoxen, caribou, and other small mammals. They are skilled predators and are known for their cooperation in hunting. Behavior. These wolves are well adapted to the harsh Arctic conditions. They are known for their endurance and can travel long distances over the frozen tundra in search of prey. Thermal regulation. To conserve heat in extreme cold, Arctic wolves have a specialized circulatory system in their legs and paws, which helps maintain body temperature. Reproduction. Breeding typically occurs in late winter and after a gestation period of around 63 days, the female gives birth to a litter of pups, which are born blind and deaf. Both parents and other pack members contribute to raising and feeding the young. Adaptations for survival. Arctic wolves have several adaptations for surviving in the cold, including a thick double-layered fur coat, well-insulated paws, and a keen sense of smell and hearing. Predators. Humans, polar bears, and sometimes larger wolf packs are the primary predators of Arctic wolves. Climate change and shrinking sea ice are also posing new challenges for these wolves. Conservation status. Arctic wolves are not specifically listed as a separate subspecies by some conservation organizations, but they are considered part of the broader gray wolf population. They are not currently classified as endangered but their population status can vary depending on local factors and threats. Cultural significance 
Arctic wolves hold cultural significance for indigenous Arctic peoples and have been featured in their mythology, stories and art. Arctic wolves are superbly adapted to one of the harshest environments on Earth. They are a symbol of the resilience of wildlife in the extreme conditions of the Arctic and play a vital role in the ecosystem of their cold and icy home. The Mexican grey wolf, Canis lupus bailei, is a subspecies of the grey wolf native to North America. It is also one of the most endangered wolf subspecies, with a small population primarily found in the southwestern United States and Mexico. Description Mexican grey wolves are medium-sized canids with a greyish coat. They have distinctive white markings on their face, throat and underparts, as well as a black-tipped tail. Size Adult Mexican grey wolves typically weigh between 50 to 80 pounds, 23 to 36 kilograms, and have a body length of 4.5 to 5.5 feet, 1.4 to 1.7 meters, from nose to tail. Habitat Historically, these wolves ranged across parts of the southwestern United States and Mexico, including Arizona, New Mexico, Texas, and northern Mexico. They inhabit a variety of ecosystems, from deserts and grasslands to mountainous regions. Endangered status. Mexican grey wolves are critically endangered and one of the rarest subspecies of grey wolves. By the 1970s, they were nearly extinct in the wild due to habitat loss and predator control programs. Reintroduction efforts. To save the Mexican grey wolf from extinction, a captive breeding program was initiated. In 1998, a reintroduction program was launched in the southwestern United States and wolves were released into designated areas within their historic range. Reproduction. Breeding typically occurs in late winter and the female gives birth to a litter of pups, usually ranging from three to six pups. The entire pack contributes to raising and feeding the young. Pack behavior. Mexican grey wolves are social animals and typically live in family groups called packs. Packs are led by an alpha male and an alpha female. Diet. Mexican grey wolves are carnivores and primarily prey on deer and other ungulates. They are important predators for maintaining healthy ecosystems. Challenges. The recovery of Mexican grey wolves faces challenges, including habitat fragmentation, conflicts with livestock ranching, and genetic diversity issues due to a small population size. Legal protections. Mexican grey wolves are legally protected in the United States under the Endangered Species Act. Special efforts are made to minimize conflicts with livestock and to promote coexistence with ranchers. Cultural significance. Mexican grey wolves hold cultural significance for indigenous peoples in the southwestern United States and Mexico and are featured in their mythology and traditions. Monitoring and research, conservationists and biologists closely monitor the population of Mexican grey wolves in the wild and engage in research to better understand their behavior and ecological role. The Mexican grey wolf represents a critical conservation effort to preserve not only the subspecies itself, but also the ecosystems in which it plays a vital role. Reintroduction and recovery programs continue to be a focus for ensuring the survival of this rare and iconic wolf. The Eastern Wolf, Canis lupus lycaon, also known as the Eastern Timber Wolf or Algonquin Wolf, is a subspecies of grey wolf native to eastern North America. Its classification and conservation status have been the subject of debate due to its genetic and ecological uniqueness. Description Eastern wolves are medium-sized canids with a variable appearance that can include grey, reddish-brown and black fur. They often have a white face and throat. Size Adult eastern wolves typically weigh between 50 to 80 pounds, 23 to 36 kilograms, and have a body length of 4.5 to 6.5 feet, 1.4 to 2 meters, from nose to tail. Habitat Historically, eastern wolves inhabited parts of eastern Canada and the northeastern United States, including the Great Lakes region and parts of Ontario, Quebec, and New York. Taxonomic uncertainty 
the classification of eastern wolves has been a subject of debate among scientists. They are often considered a subspecies of the grey wolf, Canis lupus. But some researchers argue that they represent a distinct species or subspecies. Genetic studies have shown that they have a unique genetic signature that distinguishes them from other North American wolves. Ecological role. Eastern wolves play a crucial role in ecosystems by helping regulate prey populations such as deer and beavers. Their presence can have cascading effects on vegetation and other wildlife. Diet. Eastern wolves are carnivores and primarily prey on white-tailed deer, beavers and smaller mammals. They are also known to eat fruits and carrion when available. Behavior. Like other wolf subspecies, eastern wolves are social animals that live in family groups called packs. Packs consist of an alpha pair, the dominant breeding pair, their offspring of various ages, and sometimes other non-breeding adults. Reproduction. Breeding typically occurs in late winter, and the female gives birth to a litter of pups, usually ranging from three to six pups. The entire pack contributes to raising and feeding the young. Challenges. Eastern wolves face several challenges to their survival, including habitat loss, human-wildlife conflicts, and hybridization with other wolf subspecies, particularly the gray wolf and coyote. Conservation status. Eastern wolves are considered endangered or threatened in some regions. Conservation efforts are ongoing to protect and preserve their populations and habitat. Legal protections. In some areas, eastern wolves are protected under the law to prevent hunting or trapping. These protections are designed to support their recovery. Research and management. Conservationists and biologists conduct research to better understand the eastern wolf's behavior, genetics, and ecological role. Management plans aim to minimize conflicts with humans and to promote coexistence with local communities. The eastern wolf represents a unique and important component of eastern North American ecosystems. Its conservation and protection are vital for maintaining biodiversity and ecological balance in the region. Ongoing research and conservation efforts are essential for the survival of this subspecies. The Ethiopian wolf, Canis simensis, also known as the simian jackal or simian fox, is a rare and endangered canid species found only in the Ethiopian highlands of East Africa. It is the world's rarest canid and Africa's most endangered carnivore. Appearance Ethiopian wolves are slender, long-legged canids with a distinctive red or auburn coat. They have a white patch on their throat and chest, and sometimes a white blaze on their forehead. Size, they are relatively small compared to other wolf species, with adults typically weighing between 24 to 44 pounds, 11 to 20 kilograms, and measuring 31 to 39 inches, 79 to 99 centimeters in length. Habitat. Ethiopian wolves inhabit the Afro-Alpine highlands of Ethiopia, including the Bale Mountains and the Simeon Mountains. These are high-altitude regions with rugged terrain and grassy plateaus. Social structure. Ethiopian wolves are social animals that live in family groups known as packs. Packs typically consist of an alpha pair, the dominant breeding pair, and their offspring. Diet. They are primarily carnivorous, preying on rodents such as giant mole rats and grass rats. Their diet is almost entirely composed of small mammals, with the occasional inclusion of birds and insects. Endangerment Ethiopian wolves are classified as critically endangered by the International Union for Conservation of Nature IUCN. Their population is estimated to be fewer than 500 individuals and they face numerous threats. Habitat loss Habitat loss due to agriculture, livestock grazing, and human settlement is a significant threat to Ethiopian wolves. As their habitat shrinks, they become more vulnerable to extinction. Disease, canine distemper virus, and rabies introduced by domestic dogs pose a severe threat to Ethiopian wolves. These diseases can lead to mass die-offs within their populations. Conservation efforts. Numerous conservation organizations are actively involved in Ethiopian wolf conservation efforts. These initiatives focus on habitat protection, disease monitoring and prevention, and public education. Isolation. 
The Ethiopian wolf is endemic to Ethiopia, meaning it is found nowhere else in the world. Its isolation makes it particularly vulnerable to extinction, as there are no other populations to replenish its numbers. Adaptive evolution. Ethiopian wolves have evolved unique adaptations to their high altitude habitat, such as a higher density of red blood cells to cope with lower oxygen levels and a specialized diet of rodents. Legal protections. Ethiopian wolves are legally protected in Ethiopia, and efforts are made to enforce anti-poaching laws and regulate domestic dog ownership in regions where Ethiopian wolves are found. Cultural significance. Ethiopian wolves have cultural significance in Ethiopia and are featured in local folklore and traditions. Conservation efforts to protect the Ethiopian wolf are essential to prevent its extinction. These efforts not only aim to safeguard the species itself, but also the unique ecosystems of the Ethiopian highlands, where it plays a crucial role as a top predator. The Indian wolf, Canis lupus palipes, is a subspecies of grey wolf found primarily in the Indian subcontinent. It is known for its adaptability to various habitats and plays a crucial role in the ecosystems it inhabits. Appearance Indian wolves have a slender build and a variable coat color that can range from light gray to brownish red or sandy in color. They often have a white or pale colored throat and underparts. Size Adult Indian wolves typically weigh between 40 to 60 pounds, 18 to 27 kilograms, and have a body length of 3.3 to 4.3 feet, 1 to 1.3 meters, from nose to tail. Habitat Indian wolves are highly adaptable and can be found in a variety of habitats, including grasslands, scrublands, deserts, and agricultural areas. They have historically ranged across parts of India, Pakistan, and Nepal. Social structure. Indian wolves are social animals and often live in small family groups called packs. Packs typically consist of an alpha pair, the dominant breeding pair, and their offspring. Diet. Indian wolves are carnivorous predators and primarily feed on small to medium-sized ungulates, such as chital deer, as well as rodents, birds, and sometimes carrion. Reproduction. Breeding usually occurs during the winter months and the female gives birth to a litter of pups after a gestation period of about two months. Pup numbers can vary but are typically between three to six pups per litter. Behavior. Indian wolves are known for their endurance and are skilled hunters. They often use coordinated hunting strategies to bring down prey. Conservation status. Indian wolves are currently classified as a subspecies of grey wolf and are not considered endangered. However, their populations have declined due to habitat loss, human-wolf conflicts, and hunting. Conflict with humans. In some regions, Indian wolves are perceived as a threat to livestock and may be targeted by herders and farmers. Human-wolf conflicts can lead to retaliatory killings and pose a challenge to their conservation. Cultural significance. Indian wolves have cultural significance in some local traditions and folklore. They are featured in stories and myths in various regions of India. Conservation efforts. Conservation organizations and wildlife authorities work to protect Indian wolves and their habitats. Efforts include raising awareness about the species, mitigating human-wolf conflicts, and conserving key habitats. Research. Ongoing research helps scientists understand the behavior, ecology, and genetic diversity of Indian wolves, which is essential for their conservation. Indian wolves play an important role in the ecosystems they inhabit by helping regulate prey populations and promoting ecosystem health. Efforts to protect and conserve these adaptable and resilient wolves are vital to their survival and the preservation of India's unique biodiversity. The Iberian wolf, Canis lupus signatus, is a subspecies of grey wolf native to the Iberian Peninsula in southwestern Europe, including Spain and Portugal. It is a distinct and ecologically significant subspecies with its own unique characteristics. Appearance Iberian wolves are typically smaller than some other grey wolf subspecies, with a variable coat color that can range from light grey to dark brown. They often have white or pale markings on their throats and chests. Size 
Adult Iberian wolves usually weigh between 55 to 90 pounds, 25 to 41 kilograms, and have a body length of 4.5 to 5.5 feet, 1.4 to 1.7 meters from nose to tail. Habitat. They inhabit various habitats, including forests, woodlands, and scrublands, as well as some semi-arid regions. The Iberian Peninsula offers diverse ecosystems that support the adaptability of these wolves. Social structure. Iberian wolves are social animals that live in family groups known as packs. Packs typically consist of an alpha pair, the dominant breeding pair, and their offspring. Diet. Iberian wolves are carnivorous predators and primarily feed on ungulates such as deer and wild boar. They also consume small mammals, birds, and carrion when available. Reproduction. Breeding usually occurs in late winter and after a gestation period of about two months, the female gives birth to a litter of pups. The number of pups in a litter can vary, but is typically between four to six. Behavior. Iberian wolves are skilled hunters and often use cooperative hunting strategies to capture prey. They also communicate with pack members through vocalizations like howling and barking. Conservation status. The Iberian wolf is considered a near-threatened species by the International Union for Conservation of Nature, IUCN. Its populations have declined due to habitat loss, human-wolf conflicts and historical persecution. Conflict with humans. Iberian wolves sometimes come into conflict with human activities, particularly livestock farming. Efforts to mitigate such conflicts include the use of guard dogs and compensation for livestock losses. Conservation efforts. Various conservation organizations and wildlife authorities are actively involved in efforts to protect Iberian wolves and their habitats. This includes habitat preservation, education, and research. Cultural significance. The Iberian wolf has cultural significance in the region and is featured in local folklore, stories, and traditions. Research. Ongoing research on the behavior, genetics, and ecology of Iberian wolves is essential for their conservation and for understanding their role in local ecosystems. The Iberian wolf is a symbol of the unique biodiversity of the Iberian Peninsula and plays a vital role in the ecosystems it inhabits by helping regulate prey populations. Conservation efforts aim to protect these wolves and promote coexistence with local communities. The Himalayan wolf, Canis lupus chanco, also known as the Tibetan wolf, is a subspecies of grey wolf found in the high altitude regions of the Himalayas and the Tibetan plateau in Asia. It is an enigmatic and less studied subspecies with unique adaptations to its harsh habitat. Appearance Himalayan wolves typically have a thick pale grey or yellowish brown coat that helps them blend into their mountainous surroundings. They often have a white throat and underparts, and their fur provides insulation against the cold. Size Adult Himalayan wolves are medium-sized, with males weighing between 55 to 77 pounds, 25 to 35 kilograms, and females being slightly smaller. Habitat They are adapted to high-altitude environments, including the Himalayan mountain range and the Tibetan plateau. They can be found in regions above 10,000 feet, 3,000 meters, and have adapted to survive in extreme cold and low oxygen conditions. Social structure. Himalayan wolves are social animals that often live in small family groups called packs. Packs typically consist of an alpha pair, the dominant breeding pair, and their offspring. Diet. Their primary diet consists of ungulates like blue sheep, baral, Himalayan tar, and ibex. They are also known to prey on smaller mammals, birds, and carrion. Reproduction. Breeding usually occurs in late winter, and after a gestation period of about two months, the female gives birth to a litter of pups. The number of pups in a litter can vary, but is typically between three to six. Adaptations. Himalayan wolves have several unique adaptations to their high-altitude habitat including specialized lungs and circulatory systems to cope with lower oxygen levels. Behavior. They are skilled hunters and often use cooperative hunting strategies to capture prey. They communicate with pack members through vocalizations like howling and barking. Conservation status. 
Himalayan wolves are classified as a subspecies of grey wolf and are not considered endangered. However, their populations face threats from habitat degradation, retaliatory killings due to livestock predation and climate change. Cultural Significance In some regions, Himalayan wolves have cultural significance and are featured in local folklore, stories and traditions. Conservation efforts. Conservation organizations and wildlife authorities are increasingly recognizing the importance of Himalayan wolf conservation. Efforts include habitat preservation, education, and research. Research. Ongoing research on the behavior, genetics, and ecology of Himalayan wolves is essential for their conservation and for understanding their role in high altitude ecosystems. The Himalayan wolf represents an intriguing adaptation to one of the most extreme environments on Earth. Conservation efforts aim to protect these wolves and their unique habitat, while also addressing human-wolf conflicts to ensure their long-term survival. The Mackenzie Valley wolf, Canis lupus occidentalis, also known as the Canadian timber wolf, is a subspecies of grey wolf that inhabits North America. It is the largest subspecies of grey wolf and is known for its adaptability and role as a top predator in its ecosystems. Appearance, Mackenzie Valley wolves are known for their impressive size and strength. They have a thick, dense coat that can vary in color from grey to black, with some individuals having a reddish or buff-colored tint. They typically have a bushy tail and a robust build. Size, they are the largest subspecies of grey wolf, with adult males weighing between 100 to 175 pounds, 45 to 79 kilograms, and measuring around 5 to 6.5 feet, 1.5 to 2 meters in length, including their tail. Females are slightly smaller. Habitat, Mackenzie Valley wolves inhabit a wide range of ecosystems in North America, including forests, tundra, grasslands, and mountainous regions. They are highly adaptable and can thrive in various environments. Social structure. They are social animals that often live in family groups called packs. Packs typically consist of an alpha pair, the dominant breeding pair, and their offspring. The pack structure helps them in hunting and raising their young. Diet, Mackenzie Valley wolves are carnivorous predators and have a diverse diet that includes large ungulates such as moose, caribou and deer. They also prey on smaller mammals, birds and carrion when available. Reproduction, breeding usually occurs in late winter and after a gestation period of about two months, the female gives birth to a litter of pups. The number of pups in a litter can vary but is typically between four to seven. Behavior. They are skilled hunters and often use cooperative hunting strategies to capture prey. Wolves communicate with pack members through vocalizations like howling, barking, and growling. Conservation status. Mackenzie Valley wolves are considered a subspecies of gray wolf and are not currently classified as endangered. However, they face habitat loss, human wolf conflicts, and hunting pressure in some regions. Cultural significance. Wolves, including the Mackenzie Valley Wolf, have cultural significance in various indigenous cultures and have been featured in stories, myths and art. Research. Ongoing research helps scientists understand the behavior, genetics and ecology of Mackenzie Valley Wolves, which is essential for their conservation and for understanding their role in local ecosystems. Management. Wildlife management programs in some areas aim to maintain healthy wolf populations while also addressing human-wolf conflicts and the concerns of local communities. Mackenzie Valley wolves are iconic predators of North America and play a vital role in maintaining the balance of their ecosystems. Conservation efforts aim to protect these wolves and ensure their coexistence with human communities and livestock.